about you, but I do not like sewing pieces on to plushies. It's my least favorite part of crocheting a plushie. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you over 20 different patterns that I have actually made myself that I love that are absolutely no sew. Hey, it's Tammy, Crafty Mompreneur. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. When I was a brand new crocheter, I was trying patterns where I had to sew on pieces, and oh my gosh, some of those early pieces of mine, they were, they just weren't good. Like their heads were wobbly, they weren't straight, like it was a disaster. As I've gotten better and as I've learned a few techniques, I have learned that no sew or low sew patterns are the thing for me. I love them. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you over 20 different patterns that I have actually made myself that are absolutely no so. These aren't patterns that I just found on the internet and just scoured around and like just picked some. These are ones that I have the actual plushies for most of them or the picture of when I did make it. And you can trust me that these patterns are good for a beginner. So let's get into the video. These aren't gonna be in any, any particular order. I'm actually just gonna be pulling them out of my craft bag. So, so let's get into it. First one. Aww is this little cow. This is, it's a newer pattern that I found. I love that it's no sew. You can actually use um, eyes uh, for it. You don't have to embroider the eyes. I'm just trying to get better at it. Uh, but yeah, this one you attach the um, arms as you crochet it. It doesn't have any legs and you crochet this on. The placement of parts is always what I struggled with as a newer crocheter but I didn't know exactly, like counting the stitches was weird. And I just, I felt like I never knew exactly where to put things. And so when it's part of the pattern and it tells you like crochet them on here, but this one, you crochet the ears into the head and then you just tack them down. So I don't know if you can consider that sewing, but I don't because you're, you're crocheting that into the piece. This is the Charlie the Calf by BK Crochet so cute. All right, next one. Okay, so a simple watermelon. I made this freehand, but I know there's a pattern out there. So I could write one up, but I haven't had time to do that yet, but I will find one that is similar to this. You can also change the colors on this and make it a candy corn or a pizza. I think that's the pattern I saw recently. Next we have football. So this is a free pattern on a Ribbler. So I will link that for you. The only thing that you have to add and not really sew on is just this detail. To get the straight lines on a color change, there's a whole process that um, I could share with you on that, but it's a really cool technique. Let's see the next one. This has been in one of my previous videos. This little gator with this one you're actually just chaining out for the legs. These are just bobble stitches. And I'm all about the no sew. And this is a free pattern by Natalie's Crochet Creation. Oh, it's a little baby whale. Oh, there's a whole um, series of these little whales from All From Jade. I just made the mini one just to see how it worked up. Um, but this is completely no sew, but it's really cute. And these work out pretty fast. The next one is this gnome. Now, I gave this to my daughter, but she didn't want to take it to the dorms with her. And this was just a patch I added, but the gnome is no sew. And I'm just gonna, so you uh, crochet the arms into the body, and then you actually crochet the nose also into the body on like two different rows. And I need to make some of these for Christmas in Christmas colors. I just haven't had time. It's really cute. You can make it with braids or you can do just um, blowy hair. So I need to add this to my list of things to make for holiday markets. Next is these little gummy bears. So this little pattern, I use um, Burnett Blanket yarn and it's a little gummy bear. The variegated yarn, they look really cute. What's good about these is they work up super fast and they're, you don't need any safety eyes, so they're safe for little kids. They're just really quick to make. So little gummy bears. Next is this cute little penguin from Madeline May Co. 
and I made um, I made a few of these last holiday season, and they were they were pretty. This was the only one I really had left, so they're they're pretty good sellers, and they're really cute. These aren't sewed on; these are just part of the pattern. Where the only thing you have to add is the little beak. Okay, as far as turtles go, my early turtles probably weren't very good, but I've gotten better. This was one of the first patterns that I bought when I started crocheting. It's all from Jade Tiana, and it's Tiana the turtle. And I love, love, love that you crochet all the things in. You make them, you like you make the head and all the feet, and then you crochet them in as you're adding the shell, and then you tack the head on. There's there's no sewing other than tacking the head to the body. So it's just like the perfect little turtle. I just love this turtle pattern. She, she has a whole bunch of different like flowers that you can make and you know other things you can add to them, which some of them do um, involve sewing stuff on, but like with this one, it's not sewing it on. You, you're crocheting the little petals on. Another all from Jade, this little chubby frog. Um, I had a little bit of this uh, Sweet Snuggles yarn left, and so I was able to get one little chubby frog out of it because uh, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than a normal little frog. Frog is really cute. This one I have for you is kind of a shameless plug, but it is no sew, and it's my cute little Pop-Tart pattern. I do have a free tutorial for this, but it is just a cute little market make. so. Definitely beginner friendly and no so. Oh, another turtle pattern that I love is this Meg Makes Crochet Tofu. This is Tofu the Turtle. This yarn that I used for this one is Sweet Snuggles Light or Chenille Home Slim from Michaels. And I used to make these in Parfait Chunky, but now I use mostly the um, yarn from Michael just because it makes the turtle a little bit bigger. I feel like it's more value for the money because I sell these for I think 12 or 14 getting a little bit bigger turtle if you use a little bit bigger yarn. So I have a few more of these that I'm finishing up for my market. This one for the last year has been a super popular item just across the whole crochet community so I'm sure you've seen this one and it is the maple chicken but no sew because I think you can make this and then sew it on, but I actually just use her method where she has you crochet it on. So these work up so fast. I actually need to make some for my market um, so I can have a few more because this was the one that I sold at Easter time. I had a couple left. Now this one is one that I, I mean, I don't, I don't think it gets enough love. Like, hi, it's a little cute owl. And I came across this pattern early on. It's just so cute and it works up really fast. And I made a whole bunch of them last year. And I only have like three left. And so I haven't made more. But um, I thought they would be better sellers. But if you need an owl pattern and you want to know so owl pattern, this one is just a cute little pocket owl. I featured this pattern before in my videos because I do love it so much, but it's just a little calico cat from AQ Crochets and you can make it in solid colors or whatever. And it's just, it's just a great all in one piece, no sew pattern. And I generally sell a couple of them at markets and it's just, it's just a little cutie. Next is a goldfish. And this one is just all one piece. I think you start, you start here and you work your way this way. I think I used Himalayan Dolphin Baby yarn on this one. And it's just a cute little goldfish cracker. Like it's the cutest. I did make these in like four different colors and I think I only have like two left. But if you need, if someone loves goldfish and you wanna make them one, this is a great pattern. These little mushy guys are completely no sew. Uh, you just add bobble stitches. And I mean, technically you have to add the little uh, white spots onto the hat, but that's it. Everything else is no sew. And it, I don't consider that sewing, like that's just adding detail. So it's 
So a crowd favorite seems to be this little leggy frog. Um, it is no so. He's just a little happy guy. Wah. But yeah, so this guy's no so. He goes for ten dollars. And this is Liz Noble's Light or Chanel Home Slim. I can't remember. I get the two. The two are interchangeable. The last one I have for you is just this little guy. It's my version of a little Octo. And I've made several different versions of Octos um, early on. I needed a quick little like market make that was fast to make so I could charge like five bucks for five to six dollars and I had made other ones before and they just took too long and I kind of took inspiration from other crocheters came up with this what's funny though is someone told me um that it looks kind of like an ice cream scoop and I guess it kind of does but this is just my little version of a, of a little octo so when I was coming up with this, I made three different versions. I had one where I made all from Jade's pattern, which I'm gonna link all from Jade's in the um, description box because hers was like the first one that I made and it was too big. But I made three different versions and this was the number of rows and the increases, decreases, whatever that my daughters liked the best and I've just kind of stuck with it. I don't have any made right now but anytime I make them uh, they do really well and it's these little gummy worms and the pattern is on Ribbler. I believe I added a few more rows uh, when I made mine and it's just a great no sew pattern and a quick little market make. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because on Sunday it's Granny Square Sunday and I'm going to be sharing the next five cards that I made from the Granny Square card deck as well as have some project ideas and be comparing the real deck to the dupe deck. I hope you have an awesome weekend and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.